The formula, how to structure goals and make your plan. Now you know the basis of what makes a great goal, it's time to actually start building these kinds of goals for yourself. Later, we'll be applying this same formula to different areas of your life so that you can start going after a better body, better salary, and better love life. But in each instance, we'll be reapplying this same strategy. Step 1. Visualization. The first and most important step is to visualize what you want and to really understand what you want. We already discussed this a little in respect to becoming richer. Often you'll find it's not really the money that you want, but rather what that money represents in terms of your lifestyle or your status. The same goes for being fit. It's not enough to want to be thinner or healthier. You need to understand your own motivations for wanting that. Do you want to feel more physically capable? Perhaps become a professional athlete? Do you want to prevent the deterioration that many experience as they age? Do you want to look amazing so that you can be more successful with the opposite sex? The best way to get an idea of what you want from life in any given area is often just to visualize the future. That means closing your eyes and just calling to mind your ideal future. Where are you? What do you look like? What do you do for a living? Who are you with? By picturing your future in this abstract way, you'll be able to start analyzing what it is that you're actually trying to accomplish, and from there, you can begin to look at the more concrete steps you need to take in order to get there. Some other strategies that can help with this are looking at your role models and seeing what they have in common. Thinking about the things that excite you, your hobbies, the things you're a fan of, etc. Thinking about the last time you felt truly happy or truly alive. From there, it's also a good idea to think about the actual reality and to visualize what it would be like to get there and to live that life. Do you still want it? For example, it's very easy to want to be a rock star in theory, but you might not like the actual lifestyle. It would mean spending a lot of your life touring, being in the public eye, and probably struggling to raise a family. This is why we're thinking in abstractions at this point, because you may find that the reality of being a rock star is not something you really want, in which case, you're going to start again and tap into what it was about that lifestyle that appealed to you. Are there other ways you can satisfy the same emotional goals? If you want to be recognized for your music, then you could try playing an instrument on YouTube or Bandcamp. If you just want to be a professional musician, then you could compose music for computer games or videos. But it doesn't all have to be about your career either. You could just as easily find that you're happy just busking or making music in your spare time. Getting to the core of what you want like this can also help you to overcome impossible odds. If you want to be an astronaut, for example, then you might have to come to terms with the fact that you are too old and it's now unlikely to ever happen. But ask yourself why that appeals to you on an emotional level. Maybe it comes down to your love of space, in which case, you might be equally satisfied by being an astronomer. Maybe it comes down to your love of exploration and discovery, in which case, you could be an explorer or maybe just a researcher. Step 2. Assess your situation honestly and thoroughly. The next crucial step is to assess your current situation versus the ideal one that you have visualized. This is where you're going to analyze the gulf between real life and your dream future and then try and find what the best way to bridge that gulf is. Making an honest appraisal of your current situation is a very important way to assess your current position and to thereby get an idea of your strengths and weaknesses. And in particular, you need to think about what advantages you have, what networks, what contacts, and what opportunities. You may feel that you have none, but that probably means that you just haven't been thorough enough. As the saying goes, there's no such thing as a lack of resources, only a lack of resourcefulness. This is also where you're going to analyze just how likely your goals are, and then perhaps rephrase them on that basis. If you've seen that you aren't likely to become an astronaut, then it's time to create a more achievable goal such as becoming an astronomer. If your goal is to date incredibly hot women, then perhaps it's time to reassess and at least start out by aiming for women that are on a similar level to yourself. Your mantra for this step is to assess your situation honestly and then take the path of least resistance. You're looking at the maximum benefit from the minimum time of work. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.